Hi everyone! In this dog training video, we're going to talk about the different types of dog breeds and whether a type of breed affects what a dog can learn. In my opinion, breed does affect what a dog can do. Different breeds have different characteristics, and it's all connected to their thousands of years of breeding, their health, and their environment. Would you expect a golden retriever to find your cockies? Absolutely! I would also expect Bulldogs, Boxers, and St. Bernards to slobber more than other dogs. When I think about dogs in terms of force, I can immediately imagine a pit bull being much more vicious than other dog breeds. I would be very surprised if a French Poodle or a Chihuahua confronted an angry bear. Disney made this movie in 1957 called Old Yeller, and there you can see this dog a medium-sized dog confronting an angry mother bear while trying to help this little kid. Now you might think that the explanation for that is that the dog came from the wild, so maybe it's already used to seeing big scary animals such as that bear. Or you might just think that it's a Disney movie. On the other hand, it would hardly surprise me to see a Doberman, a Rottweiler or a Great Dane attempt to intimidate a bear. Now let's say you were stuck in the Alps after a crazy avalanche. Wouldn't you expect a Saint Bernard to come to your rescue? Of course you would, <laughs> just like in so many cartoons we've seen. For me though, the Saint Bernard should bring some vodka, schnapps, or at least some Perrier. In terms of health, when in their primes, I expect the German Shepherds, Rottweilers, and Golden Retrievers to be healthier than most other breeds, such as Hounds, Beagles, Boxers, Bulldogs, Poodles, Greyhounds, Schnauzers, and so on. Another factor in dogs' health is their heritage, earlier generation in their families. One more factor in dogs' breeds is their environment. For example, long-haired dogs perform poorly in humid environments like the Hawaiian Islands, although short-haired dogs will only do slightly better. In another example, I would be very surprised to find hunting dogs such as the Lycan Pictus in African rainforests. These dogs have short-haired fur, allowing them to blend into desert region environments like the Southern Sahara Desert, where they can hunt gazelles or zebras. Cold environments are more for hardy dogs, like Siberian Husky. Can you imagine greyhounds, considered to be the fastest dog in the world, participating in a trail sled dog race in Alaska? I can't. All I know is that all dog breeds like to play, and unless you are a Grinch-like creature, they will play with you. I have never seen a dog refuse to chase a thrown ball or a flying frisbee. Even unhealthy ones will go a few steps towards these thrown objects. Many scientists believe that the first dogs were actually wolves, and that perhaps the Neanderthals first tamed wolves. It's actually not so difficult to imagine this brave Neanderthal throwing a disc-shaped stone into the air for his captive wolf to fetch. A question still needs answers is whether dog breeding started in cold environments or warm environments. Well, I hope I have the answer for this for next time. And until then, I hope I helped you understand a little about different dog breeds. I hope you stay tuned for other videos about training dogs. Bye-bye!